Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle from round seven of Sudoku Grand Prix. And I won't place any marks in the grid. Click on the link below if you want to try the puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, so immediately you kind of want to look at the ones here and go, hey, I can solve for a one right there. And then we can solve for another one right there because of these ones. Uh, and so I did participate Here's another one right here, and you can finish off the ones pretty quickly right there. I did participate in the Sudoku Grand Prix round seven, hosted by the Netherlands, and it was tough. That's the first time I've done a Sudoku competition. I only finished five of the 14 puzzles. All of them were classics. Uh, I did finish this one. So this is me kind of going over how I solved it, what I remember about it. This particular puzzle actually took me a while, and it's relatively easy. It's only naked and hidden singles, but... Uh, the way the grid is set up, it, it was hard for me to kind of do some scanning. It took me a little while to get used to the grid. And then uh, it probably took me at least 10 minutes to solve, which for the first easy puzzle ate up a lot of my time. Uh, so let's move on here. I'll keep talking about it as we go. So let's think about where the twos are, right? So twos, you can see there's twos here. And nothing else I can really do with that. And then with the threes, I can solve for a three right here because of these threes which two spots for a three there and we'll look and notice uh you know the fours and what you're doing with this is just kind of scanning you're looking for like where are their restrictions so i can see a restriction with the eight so like the idea of going one two three four five six seven eight nine may not apply very well instead look at what numbers you can see a lot of like these eights and then start working them see how this eight comes down column six Start working them, start filling out the rest of the grid. So yeah, there's an eight right there and an eight right here. And you see, once you find one good number, you kind of work yourself around the grid. It's like an easy, if you've ever done a Sudoku.com easy puzzle uh, with the cross hatching, you see once you get one of these numbers in this first puzzle, um, the other ones kind of kind of come pretty quickly. You know, so I'm looking here and going, where did I go next? Is it the fours? No. And I don't think it's the nines, uh, though there is a pointing pair of nines right here. See how this nine comes up and that nine comes across. Uh, so that means the nines will be restricted to those two spots. Uh, and like I said, I'm challenging myself by not putting any marks in the grid. Uh, I actually put this through a solver and it's pretty easy solve. Uh, you're only going to need hidden and naked singles to get through this puzzle. So you shouldn't have, you should be able to do mostly cross hatching or switching to uh, naked and looking for naked singles in the grid here all right so i'm again i'm doing a lot of talking here so one thing we can do like this two comes across this two comes down so there's a pointing pair of twos here so two's got to be in one of those spots um and that means that this can't be a two anymore it doesn't help us yet maybe one number that i haven't really focused much on yeah, is a seven so that's probably because there's only one seven right there so the cross hatching doesn't look really well, so I think we gotta go to naked single. So I'm looking right here. You remember how this nine is now a pointing pair? So this, you know, nine can't be anywhere up there. So a nine can't be in this spot. What can be here? A one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, or nine can't be there. So this has to be a seven. So that's a kind of a hard naked single seven to find because it's all mixed up in uh, this area right here. Uh, but there it is, you know, you got to reach down here and, and look at these digits um, in, in uh, column six along with row two to kind of find that. But now that will help us obviously solve uh, this puzzle. So now you're looking at what, a two, five, and a nine cutting across here, across row two. Uh, we can't get any more restrictions that way. But what did it do for us? So then. You have to actually look down here, look down column seven and look at this spot, right? So you have a one, three, four, five, eight here. So you need a two, six, seven, nine. And see there's a two, six and a nine. So then this is a seven. And so it's a naked single, but it's not, to me, it really wasn't that easy to find. And so I felt, um, it was probably why I was a little slow on this particular puzzle. But you know, once you start filling in some of these things, uh, like we said, we needed a two, six, seven, nine. So now we can fill in that nine right there. And that's gonna help a little bit. Uh, so now what are we looking at over here? 
you know, this would be a three and a four. Okay, so now the four is like a pointing pair. Those would be a four. I can't really solve for that yet. Uh, but now with the nine and the nine, we can solve this for a nine and kind of work our ways up with the nines here. All right, so let's kind of finish what we can do with uh, the nines. All right, looks like that's as far as we're gonna get with the nines for now. But they, we did get some more solving, which is good. Okay, let's look now. See, this is three and a four. Uh, and across here would be a two, three, four. And so you just look that that would be a three and a four. So a two can't be here or here. So this has got to be your two. And so we're able to solve that. And now you kind of created like a little shelf. So you know the five's got to be on one of these spots. Um, and then a six is also got to be in one of those spots. So this is going to be a five, six, uh, they could pair, right? So I mean, I'll highlight that. So realize that the five, six are limited to those two spots, which means three and four have to be down here. So this is going to be your three because of this three. And then this would be your four. All right. And I just did the highlight to kind of show you what I was talking about. Three, three. And now we can work our way up with the threes. And there's another three right there. And you see the cross hatching is a little bit easier now once you make a few solves, it gets a lot quicker. So there, no, that has to be a four. Uh, so now we only have two spots here, right? Two and a seven, uh, I can't solve that yet. That's still the five and six, can't solve that yet. But now uh, we you know, made quite a bit of progress. All right, so what we're looking at here, I'm looking at where the fours could be. And these two spots, those two spots. So the four's not really the next place to look at. What else did we fill in? We filled in some nines, right? And so then we can look maybe right here. So I see one, three, four, eight, nine, one, three, four, nine. Okay, so what, what are these three spots? It'd be uh, the camp, you know, the seven can't be right there. So now this is a pointing pair of sevens. So you can actually solve that for a seven and kind of move on from that spot. Okay, so you see, you know, the two and the seven are limited to these two spots up here on block one because you see the two and the seven right there. So we know this has got to be another naked single. And so it ha actually has to be a five. So now we can solve our six and we can solve our five um, and then move up here and we solve the rest. Uh, the other five right there. Okay, so we said this has got to be your two and your seven, which makes sense. Now we just solved the fives, we solved the sixes. These two spots are a four and a six, which you can't solve just yet looking at uh, the grid the way it is so let's kind of move over you know what's remaining here right we got uh, two and a nine can't solve the two and a nine yet and so now from here you got to switch gears a little bit so like where can a nine be in column four so nine can't be there it can't be there and it can't be here so this has to be your nine which we can go over and we can solve this for a two and to be honest, I feel like we're just kind of going back and forth, but now we can solve this for a two and get back to cross hatching. Because remember, the quickest method to use to solve puzzles is the cross hatching, uh, where you're just scanning for one digit across the way, you know, and finding all of those. All right, so we got the, the twos down uh, for the most part here. You know, we still have the twos here and the two seven combination there, but at least we got uh, this six in, so. After that, where can we go? Uh, we can go over here, and so look, look at what can this be, right? So you see one, two, three, four, six, eight. You got the five, seven, so that's got to be a nine. Okay, so now we can solve that for a nine, and we've got all the nines taken care of, which is nice. And so now you restrict more of these spots, right? So what we're looking for here is five and seven, I see the five in column eight, so that's your seven, that's your five, and I remember we had a two seven over here, so there's your two, there's your seven, uh, and then a two, two, this has gotta be a two, and we're looking for uh, the six there, and then we'll kinda move over here and do the five. And from this point, you really wanna kinda look for full houses, so like right here, the only thing missing is a seven, and then go back to cross hatching if you can, but there's two spots for seven, two spots for seven, but I remember this is a two seven. So now we can do that seven, that seven right there. And then 
Uh, we've got the twos, and then right here we're looking for uh, four, six. Actually, can't even solve that yet. This is also so we'll look at this full house and know that that's got to be a four. This is going to be your six. This is your four. And now I can go back over here and go, okay, six, four. See how that works. Uh, you know, take that information as you remember, store it in your memory, and then solve it at a later date. So there you go. There is puzzle one from Sudoku Grand Prix. Uh, really enjoy it. Hopefully you learned something from this. Uh, please check out these other videos from previous Sudoku Grand Prix solving that I did. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. Thank you so much for watching.